Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please hit that subscribe button right there, right there, right there. And hit the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos come up. Now today's card is actually my March 2021 Mystery Cards Challenge. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so I've been I've been doing this the last few months and it's really fun. I'm a part of a big community of Stampin' Up! demonstrators and we do this and it's actually, it kind of gets you out of your rut in the ways that you normally do things, just like the paper pumpkins do. So what today is, and I'm going to show you my card right after and we'll make it, is you're going to have a card base. When I say a base card stock, when I say card stock, it's just the regular solid paper. So your base card stock is eight and a half by five and a half. And then you're going to score at two and an eighth inch and then six and three eighths inch. So that's your card base. Then you need another piece, either white or vanilla, just regular card stock. Now, your white or vanilla just depends on what kind of colors you pick and what kind of goes together. And your white card stock is going to be a five and a quarter by four. And that's for the inside. So that's, you know, the inside of your card. And then you're going to need a piece of scrap for the sentiment stamp and the die cut, whatever you choose. So you choose your own stamp and your own die cut. Then you're going to need a piece of coordinating cardstock. That's just a solid paper. You need two pieces, two and a half by four. Then you're going to need a piece of coordinating designer series paper. So the pattern paper. And you need two pieces at two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Then you're going to get a second DS paper. And you're going to cut four pieces one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Now, this is going to be a portrait style card. So you, when you pick your DS paper, be careful of the direction. In fact, the pieces I chose were DS paper that doesn't have a direction. So it's not like everything has to go up or something. You want to pick all these colors to kind of match. So I'm going to let you go ahead and follow these directions and see what you come up. And then I'm going to show you the card and then we'll make my card. So here you go. Go make your card. I'll be right back. We're back. So here is my card. And what I chose was the Berry Delight Designer Series paper. And then I used two stamps that actually coordinated with themselves with the Berry Blessing and the Sweet Strawberry from the celebration in the new mini catalog for January to June. And if you need one of those, uh, email me and I'll send you out a catalog. But this is obviously a fun fold card if you didn't already catch that. So what it is, is just like I said, the base card stock, I used Granny Apple Green and I scored it at two and an eighth by six and three eighths. And obviously these two sides are both two and an eighth from each other. So here's our card base. And I always like to give an extra score on the back here too, just to kind of keep everything down. Okay. And then the white, I chose white because the um, Berry Delightful has a lot of white in it. So here's my card base. And I went ahead and used the Happy Birthday stamp from Sweet Strawberry. And of course, since this is a clear stamp, we do want to use a stamp pad because you want to give that an extra support when you're stamping it. And then I used Pacific Point because Pacific Point is the color in the DS paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I always stamp my clear stamps on the stamping pad as well. And then I'm going to put the happy birthday here in the middle. And then I used the berries from Berry Blessing because I thought they were really cute and they matched the DS paper. And I just put them here in the corner like so. So now we've got our insert done. So we can go ahead and take our insert and snail it up and put it on the inside because that's where it's going to go. And this is just a really super simple card. And uh, it, but it has some really nice results. So that's how you do the inside. Then I took the four pieces of one and seven eighths by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna snail these up and put 
them on the inside and the outside of the card. So here's the outside and then on the inside of the card like so. So when you're putting that final one on the outside, try to match it up with the one on the other side of it like that. So one of the things that I had to do out of the white was grab a piece of scrap for the sentiment and the die cut. So this is the part where you pick your dies. I picked Stitch So Sweetly and I use this one a lot. If you ever wanted to get a die set that you use all the time, this would be it definitely. So I cut the third smallest one out of the white and I don't like just leaving it white. So I'm gonna do the fourth biggest one and I'm gonna put a backing. Now this wasn't in the instruction and I tell you, when you're doing a mystery card challenge, you can add. Now you just have to use all the pieces I said, but you can totally add. So I added the, um, the next one up in the Pacific point because it matches everything here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the, um, the outside sentiment here. And this is from Berry Blessings and the Pacific Point, of course, using some kind of stamp pad here. And I'm going to put it right there in the middle like so. And there we go. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals here and just put it right there on its background like that. Now to the front of the card again. Now on the instructions, it was two pieces of two and a quarter by, I'm sorry, two and a half by four, and two pieces of coordinating card stock, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So all I'm gonna do is snail these two together. And this is what you're gonna have as a result. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these on the card. Now, the thing about putting these on the card is you want it to go edge to edge from where the DS paper starts here in the corner over and only snail one side of it. So I'm gonna just snail it right here and I'm gonna put this piece down to the edge of that DS paper. I'm gonna go this way. To there and then snail up the opposite side here, flip the card over and do the same here, the edge of the DS paper over. So now you've got these two pockets and the only thing left is to put on your sentiment and that's it. This was such a great little card for a mystery stamping. So that is it and stay tuned for the April one next month and, and please subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. And I do give away the demo card. So if you're a first time subscriber, you like it, put your email in the comments and I'll mail you the demo card or you can just email me at noreen at joyofcards.com and that'll do it for me. Thanks, bye.